the Hermes did that. They created a completely unique GX47 engine that has all the necessary characteristics from compact size to stability and speed. For its part, the Lockheed Martin company has been strengthening the F-35's hull. The first test went as expected. The size of the F-35 and the length of the aircraft's carrier deck of 1,049 feet allowed it to accelerate and take off properly without any problems. But the main test was not takeoff, but landing. Will the updated F-35 be able to cope with this task? After all, it'll have to accelerate to the maximum hypersonic speed and then have time to slow down and land. The exciting moment came and the pilot reached the required altitude of 49,200 feet and flew like a steel hawk. Gradually lowering his altitude, he slowed down and immediately an aircraft carrier appeared on the horizon. It's difficult to react to anything at this speed, but there's too much at stake. The pilot concentrated all his attention, pointed the plane in the right direction, and suddenly reduced speed and altitude. Just a few seconds later and the F-35 lands on the deck, breaking to a complete stop with the help of the aircraft carrier's reinforced hooks and cables. At this moment, the overload experienced by the pilot was comparable to that experienced by astronauts in a centrifuge about 32 G. But the mission was successful, and the hypersonic aircraft landed on a U.S. aircraft carrier.